Ryan Garcia, known as The King, stands as the beacon of hope for the Golden Boy Company. At just 25 years old, he boasts an impressive track record with around 230 amateur fights and numerous victories in USA tournaments. Over his seven-year professional career, Ryan has secured 25 triumphs and suffered only one defeat. Ring Magazine hailed him as the 2017 Prospect of the Year, a title justified in 2021 when he clinched the interim WBC world title. Oscar De La Hoya pins high hopes on Ryan to succeed Saul Alvarez as the next boxing superstar. Despite his multiple appearances at Golden Fight events, the true litmus test awaits him in a bout against former absolute champion Devin Haney. In this video, we unveil Ryan Garcia's journey and you, our viewers, will be the judges of whether his experience and skills are sufficient to conquer Devin. Enjoy the show! Our video kicks off with Ryan's American debut against Puerto Rican Jonathan Cruz. While the first round was forgettable, the second round delivered the expected excitement. A lightning hook to Cruz's chin shocked him, although he managed to stay on his feet. Ryan then unleashed his right hand with precision, ultimately sealing the victory. Ryan's brilliance caught Oscar De La Hoya's eye after just six fights leading to a deal with Golden Boy in November 2016. Despite high expectations, opponents failed to provide substantial challenges, notably Marco Antonio Macias with 28 wins but 21 defeats fell to Ryan in the first round. You can see just by the way he boxes, low left hand, likes to shoulder roll, lead with a lot of hooks, hand speed and, and there he goes, Gar Marcia's down. Ryan Garcia said it, has that power. Here it is in the first. A lot of fans. For a kid who's only 18, a lot of hope, a lot of promise behind him. Trained by his father in their garage in Victorville, California. And Macias is already in survival mode. Well, Macias has been stopped numerous times. Uh, this is nothing that new That stung him, and it is over. A first round KO for Ryan Garcia. In 2017, Ryan faced Mexican Miguel Carroza for the vacant NABF junior title. The fight concluded in the first round with a powerful right blow, followed by a decisive left hook. He is the fighting pride of the high desert, hailing from Victorville, California, the undefeated. work from veterans and even world champions in the gyms that they train in and you know what it's going to show in this fight and i both i see both guys now having a moment oh now, how quick was that three, less than four, 10 seconds into five, the fight six, and seven eight are you okay what's my name uh, what nothing okay box What's my name? Referee says Garisosa and just two punches. And Ryan Garcia comes away with a spectacular knockout over Miguel Garisosa. He told me when I saw him backstage, I might give you a wink. Didn't give him a chance to wink. This he is gave, over, behind. gave us a wink. And now NABF supervisor Greg Hubble will present the new Junior NABF Super Featherweight Champion with the bell. He is still undefeated. King Ron Ryan Garcia! Following the Mexican knockout, Ryan quickly dispatched two more opponents. His next challenge came against Jason Vallis, a more formidable opponent with 26 wins, four defeats and one draw. The Puerto Rican underdog showed promise early on, but Ryan's relentless punches secured the unanimous decision. All right, we haven't opened uh, Beto's mic as of yet. But nonetheless, 
Ryan Garcia connects with a nice left and right. You see the leg of Jason Velez turn into Jello early on in round two. Ryan Garcia has power. And Velez's observation of Ryan Garcia as he lands two overhands right. Big right. Think things through here. And he lands a nice uppercut as Velez tried to get aggressive. And he's paying the price here in the sixth round. Nice left hook from Ryan Garcia who starts to unload his power punches. And the fans start to get on their feet here at the stump. By unanimous decision, he is now the undefeated NABO, NABF Super Featherweight Champion from Victorville, California, The Flash, Ryan Garcia! Very sportsmanlike. A challenging bout emerged when Ryan faced compatriot Carlos Moraes. Garcia, Typically dominant, faced adversity as Marias gained momentum in the latter rounds. However, Ryan's early lead secured the victory by unanimous decision. He was, uh, that fight was stopped because of cuts. Went to the scorecards. The judges' scorecards too early. I could have won this fight. A nice shot there from Garcia. The blood seems to that he needs. Everyone gave round three for Garcia. We need everybody. All right, stop, stop, stop. Urging him to put the pressure and let his hands go. There you go. And now Morales. He's hurt. He's hurt. They think that they've got him hurt. He's hurt. Watch all over me, all right? He's hurt. Garcia has never been tested like this, ladies and gentlemen. He's never been knocked down. Take advantage. Just like in his last fight, Morales coming on late. Good body shot there for Morales. Garcia not firing back like he has been. Distance. And that will do it. To 92 for your winner by majority decision. Fighting out of the red corner. The 19th fight marked a quest for two more titles, the vacant WBC Silver and WBO NABO titles against Filipino Romero Duno. Garcia swiftly ended the bout in the first round with a lightning strike from the right. Right hand and a hook and Duno is hurt. Duno is hurt bad. Wow, it's over. Following Duno, Ryan maintained his tradition by swiftly defeating Francisco Fonseca in one round. On January 2nd, 2021, he faced a formidable opponent in Britain, Luke Campbell, while weakened by COVID-19. Despite a knockdown, Ryan rallied and delivered a decisive blow to secure victory in the seventh round. Sits the kid down! And that's what he was setting him up for. Luke was looking for that over... And now Campbell is down on a knee, two knees! After such a top opponent, Ryan fought against Ghanaian Emmanuel Tago, against whom he went the distance. To the winner by unanimous decision, Ryan Garcia! Javier Fortuna was a pretty good boxer, but he also failed to compete with the young star, and therefore the sixth round was the end of the fight. You know, when you're talking about guys comfortable fighting southpaws, no, he got him again! This guy, look how much taller he is, but guess what? People want to throw oh, and he caught him with a left hook again! April 22nd marked a significant match as Ryan stepped into the ring against his fellow countryman, Gervonta Davis. The two engaged in a compelling fight, but in the seventh round, Ryan succumbed to a technical knockout. You know, da uh, Davis said he I expected, as most of us did, to approach early. Even Davis said, I don't want to walk in the Abner. Yeah, really, because whoever does make the mistake is going to pay dearly. And there's that hand speed. As Garcia, that lead foot battle is very yeah. crucial. And right now, it's neutral. Just landed in the first three minutes. And it, and it, it turns out Garcia putting the pressure on Davis. Landing the right and left, and Davis trying to... And he's doing that fairly well. And boy, a lot of holding oh. on the inside. 
Davis lunging at Garcia. Line, they, they say that Garcia had to take advantage of Davis's slow starts, whether deliberate or not. And you're in round left hook. Oh. Oh, what a shot! What a missile strike by Davis! And just one. And that's the one thing they were worried about in the Garcia camp. Oh, and he hits him again with that left through the guard. That because because that oh, oh I didn't see that he didn't see that yeah he knows the left hook isn't getting there and John Goosen told him after round one you got to get to that right hand and he's doing it let's bring it straight Ooh. left hand lands for Davis Alicia on there but it was one of the few left hooks he's been able to get in another left hook and a right hand by Garcia and now oh Garcia forced to take a knee. Undeterred by the painful defeat, Ryan made a triumphant return to the ring on December 2nd, 2023 against American Oscar Duarte, boasting an impressive record of 26 victories and only one loss. The match concluded in the eighth round, with King Garcia delivering precise strikes, securing another victory for his remarkable career. Which match was your highlight of King Garcia's reign? And a weird angle that's happening right there in the, in the heat of the battle, in the moment. We just saw a hard warning and possibly the DQ. But these are... It's not an engaging fight right now. That's on Ryan Garcia. But Oscar Duarte, to me, is not taking advantage from, from Ryan because he's taking, he's taking it away from his opponent. He just does not know how to punch him. Duarte's legs have betrayed him. His foundation is gone. And that's a knockdown. The shift 